welcome back to my channel and this video that's gonna be my July haul and you're like Bitch, it ain't July. I know! <laughs> I ordered some of these things from US and it does take me quite a while to get them because some of these things I ordered to my US address. I have a US postal box, like a post box in uh, America, USA. What do you say? USA? America? America is like the whole continent. Uh, I'm lost. In USA, I do have a post box and I do send stuff there if the international shipping is very high uh, and the shipping within US is free. That's when I ordered to my uh, post box because then I do actually save on shipping because I do pay for shipping it from my post box to Sweden but normally that rate is lower than the rate that they have at the web shops especially if it's like an indie shop or something because they cannot have that like they don't have a deal with postal services to get the fee down which big companies have like Colourpop and places where you get free shipping it's because they ship a lot and they can have a like a deal with postal services. Just so you know why the postal, like the fee differs, if you see that it's a high fee, it's because they don't have a service and they pay what it actually costs to ship something. I have a ridiculous amount of things to show you. Um, I know that other people uh, did this no by July. Uh, I, I did something different. I did a uh, buy everything July. <laughs> By all that you can see, July. Um, I could not have done a... Why am I... Ugh, stupid dress. I could not have done a no by July. There was just too many exciting stuff being released this month. I feel the opposite about August. Um, I, pre I'm predicting that August haul is going to be pretty small. This haul is going to be very big. Please don't judge me. I am going to show you some things that I received in PR. I'm not going to show you... All of it, I'm showing a couple of things that I thought stood out that was actually extra interesting. And you know what? I'm gonna start with PR. Uh, I have two things. I have two things in PR that I want to show you. First of all, I got the slush palette. You have seen the review of this. It is up anyways. If you haven't seen it, the review of this palette is up. It is a UK-based indie brand. It has a plastic thingy in. It has a mirror. It's a big, a big rainbow palette with a twist that's what i'm calling it i do have a review up on this one and they were kind enough to send this to me and this was actually i think the first thing i re received in july and i'm super excited to actually have tried it even though i wasn't planning on picking it up another thing i received in pr look at this packaging it's like hollow but like muted like peachy hollow very beautiful this is from LA Splash Cosmetics this is their unfortunately the packaging itself isn't this color it is the uh, Lumos uh, highlighting palette by LA Splash and it opens like this and it has a mirror as well um, These actually look very similar to the Kat Von D formula, but it's not as sparkly, but the colors are I mean Obviously inspired by the color scheme that she had in her palette, but these are very smooth and non glittery So if you wanted to try that color scheme that Kat Von D had in her palette But you wanted to try well not Kat Von D and also something that doesn't have glitter in it because I don't think that this has glitter in it It's just very shimmery. This one seems very pretty. I haven't worn it on my face yet though just letting you know. Um, I did get one more thing from Ellie Splash actually. This is the uh, Hydra liquid shadow uh, this was sent to me uh, by Your Vanity and I will link them down below so you can check them out. They do have LA Splash. This is a Hydra Liquid Shadow. It is just a tealy, glittery liquid shadow. It is like those Stila Glitter and Glow, but this one has a bit more color to it. This would be beautiful over a smoky eye. Because it's like a tealy, glittery... It's actually very pretty. I haven't used this either as well, but I've just been busy, but that's very pretty and I, I like the container because it's a squeezy tube, but it has that uh, doe foot applicator within it, so I, I'm a big fan. Uh, I did make an order from Gloss Gods in Sweden and they have Suva Beauty, unfortunately not the new stuff from Suva Beauty. Uh, I actually bought some stuff there as well, uh, not from Suva Beauty, but from another brand to give to Georgia Harris because we are doing an exchange. Uh, for some things and I bought two things that I wanted to have for myself. This is Suva Beauty Tropic eyeshadow. The eyeshadows from Suva Beauty are like big. Let me see if I can get this out. Like you see they are bigger. So this is Tropic. Ooh, that is smooth. And this is just a very bright yellow. 
very pretty. Uh, I was just interested in trying um, another shimmer from Suva because I don't. I think I only have one shimmer from Suva and the rest are mattes. So I just wanted to buy this uh, yellowy one to try. And then I got one of these. I have two of these before. These are the Hydra FX liners, and I got mine in Acid Trip. These are water activated, so they are like a cake. This this is neon. It doesn't show on camera. I can see in the viewfinder it's showing it as orange, but this is neon. Neon. And I, I camera doesn't show it. I'm sorry. It just washes it out. It is a very neony orange, and this is water activated, like I said. So you drip some water in it or spray Fix Plus in it. That also works. That's what I do. And then you dip your eyeliner brush and paint it on. They last forever, and si woo, and since they are not liquidy, they also last forever, like, they feel nice in this uh, compact thing as well, since they're dry. So, I did film this look today. I filmed it with some palettes from Colourpop, I made an order from Colourpop, uh, buying some, some, some different things. <laughs> I bought two palettes, I bought a Supernova shadow, um, and I also bought some blotted lips. I'm wearing one today, but I'm, I'm wearing this um, this color that's called Ocean Avenue. Don't like it. Mm. Mm. I don't like it. It's so patchy. So patchy. Maybe the other colors will be better. This one, the orange one, I don't recommend. It's so patchy. It's It's actually... It's actually ridiculous. Uh, I actually also wanted to show you, and I will show you, I actually lip swatch all of these in the try on video that I did for this. I don't know when it's coming up, maybe next week, I'm not sure, probably next week, yeah. It's probably coming up next week. I actually got some PR from Colourpop. I got five lipsticks from them, they asked me if they could send me something, asked me what I wanted, and I wanted to try more of the Luxe formula, so I actually got to pick out five colors that they sent to me, and I will be lip swatching all of these in the video that I did when I'm doing this look just so you know. So I did get five colors but hang in there and I will show you all of these color pop things better in that video. Just letting you know that I did that color pop order and I got some PR uh, and I also bought this one, the Make Up Your Mind palette. I'm very excited to try this one, I haven't yet but I want to try this together with the um, this one, the Pretty Much palette. I think that these two together could be really nice. Really nice. I'm I'm actually super excited to try these two together. That that is my goal. You know what? I'll just put this here right now. Stop it. Cooperate. Cooperate. Okay. So I I'm actually very excited to try those uh, together. I also bought a lipstick. This is Samantha Ravendell's fault. I blame Samantha. This is C Sheer from Mac. She did a video of her favorite sheer lipsticks, and I love sheer lipsticks and she talked about this and it looks so beautiful on her so I actually bought it. It is a see-through corally thing. Absolutely stunning. I totally... her recommendation was good. It was just what I wanted. I actually bought this one as well. I have gotten one of these by Terry Hyaluronic Sheer Rouge Hydra Bomb. Oh my god, that was a long name. I've gotten one of these before but I got it in red. Uh, and then I bought one in this like peachy coral um, So I was actually very excited to uh, to have this I'm wearing this in a video an upcoming video I'm pretty sure it's an upcoming video. I'm wearing this color actually. It's the smell is a typical lipstick smell I'm not Like the biggest fan of that, but they look so juicy and amazing on the lips Unfortunately, they're very expensive. You're gonna have to sell your firstborn child to get one. Luckily, I don't have any kids, so I just had to sell a kidney. It's very beautiful though, but I did buy that with my own money, but I did get one of them at NPR from before. And I bought this one as well. It finally, finally, finally came to Sweden, and I couldn't resist it. This is the CoverShot Pink and Palms Eye Palette from Smashbox. I have tried this. I have worn this three times. Not on my channel though. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a full face of reviews again and then I might wear this one just to review it for you or maybe I just include it in a like a roundup review. I don't know. It's okay. It's not very good. It is not horrible. I mean the mattes do have some pigmentation but not a lot to be honest. Uh, for being a 
I think this is more of a companion palette unless you want to have a very light look because all of these shades look very light on your eyes except this one and I am not I am not a fan of wearing a palette on its own if the darkest color in the palette is a shimmer. So I've actually worn this together with um, some other dark mattes and I don't mind mixing and matching, don't get me wrong, I like that. But for, for the purpose of taking it on the go for being your single palette to bring if you're traveling, I don't think that this one will do it for that. Uh, although I, I, I pack more makeup than that, but if you like light looks, you, you, you might like this. It's it's not horrible, it's not very good either. The shimmers are the biggest problem. And I, I'm under the impression that shimmers are the easiest to make good. So, I don't really know what's up with that. I need to speak faster. I've been talking for 12 minutes and I have a lot left to show you. <laughs> I've been so bad. I was about this one. This is the Afrique palette by Juvia's. I do have a code with Juvia's, but they do not send me all of their things in PR. Um, that happens sometimes and I'm totally fine with that because I have bought all of my palettes from Juvia's except the Warrior palette that I got sent to me and I, I'm pretty sure that I will continue buying all of their palettes because I like them. This is the Afrique palette, like I said. Uh, this one has a plastic as well. I have not, I have swatched this palette, but I haven't worn it on my eyes. I'm thinking of trying this tomorrow. Uh, actually, I will say that the shimmers in this palette are so nice. And this Niger, this Niger is very, as, I, I know I'm gonna love this on the eyes. So I'm actually very excited to try this. I'm gonna try this tomorrow. I'll give you, you're gonna see, I mean, you've already seen one, two, three, four, palettes and there's more coming you're gonna see that there is no way in hell that I can make three looks one palette with all of these palettes and I hope I'm still gonna see someone saying in the comments no you need to make three palettes one look I'm sorry I have to go to work and I have to sleep as well <laughs> I, I I don't have time to do three looks with all of these palettes and I hope you'll understand that um I don't have time I don't have time. I'd love to do it, but I don't have the time. Uh, I also made another Colourpop order, and this one actually came in uh, yesterday. Stop it. Stay. Uh, this is the Zodiac palette. I also did get the Dream Street palette. I don't know why. I wasn't, I wasn't meant to buy you. And yet I did. Uh, actually, the shimmers in this swatch very nice, um, it's very, I don't know, what, okay, don't judge me, I don't know what I was thinking, let's just put that one to the side. I am going to film a look with the Zodiac palette and the Zodiac things for sure, I bought both of the Luxe lipsticks, I bought the Astrology liquid shadow, I bought the Fire Super Shock Chic, and then I bought the palette. The palette is actually very nice, I swatched it and I will say, no there's no plastic, uh, it has a mirror, it looks this palette is beautiful. The I like. I'm, I'm talking like the actual palette. The way that there are stars in the background here, it's so pretty. Uh, I swatched some of these shadows, almost all I would say, and I think that it's, this looks promising. This seems like the normal ColourPop quality from, from what I could see so far. Haven't tried it on my eyes. I am planning to do something with this palette. It is not going to be three looks with this palette though. Just so you know, that's that's not happening. I don't have the time. It's, it's not happening. Uh, and you're gonna see why when I show you... Is it the last thing? Huh. Okay, so it's the last thing. Like it was not a lot of things before. It, it was a lot of things before. Wait, I'm gonna get some coke. I'm dying. Oh. Mm. I just love coke. It's so good. So, uh, you, you, some of you knew this and some of you didn't. What is falling on me? Paper. I bought all of the Ace, I think it's Beauté. I've, I've been calling them Ace Beauty and then I hear other calling them Ace Beauté and I'm like, okay, yeah, there is actually is a thing over the either. It's, it's Beauté. I bought all four palettes. There was a bundle deal for the pre-sale. I also used Rachel, the girl that's been helping them create these. I used her code. I think it's only Rachel. Uh, I used her code to get 10% off and then the shipping within US was free for me. So I sent this to my PO box and then I sent it to Sweden. The shipping for all of these four to Sweden was $50. 
and I wasn't paying that. So I sent it shipping free to um, my PO box and then I sent this and the Afrique palette for $22 to Sweden. So you see how much money I actually save. I mean, you probably are like $22 for shipping because you're so spoiled with free shipping. But for me, $22 for shipping, what a bargain. <laughs> So I am super excited. Let me show you these. I've actually put a picture of these up on my Instagram. These are so nice. Like the, this looks so nice and actually some parts of this is raised. So there's a structure. These look and feel so luxe and look at how beautiful this is. Same here. Some of it is raised. Some of it it has some like shiny details on it. It's so pretty. Uh, the back is just a normal like this and on the back here you have the ingredients. These are um, cruelty free, made in the People's Republic of China, so you know. Apparently not sold there though since they are cruelty free. But wait, I have some plastic. Each palette comes with a mirror and this is the Slice of Paradise one, right? Yeah, Slice of Paradise. This is the rainbow palette but it has two shimmers though. This is to me the least interesting one. If it wasn't a bundle deal, I wouldn't have picked this up because I have so many rainbow palettes. But now that I see it, it is so pretty. It actually is so pretty. I think this persimmon one is the one that intrigues me the most because this one is like, I don't know, it's like a bright yellowy orange. It's very pretty. So yeah, this is that palette. Oh my god. Oh, I have so many things to show you. Okay, this is the palette that most people seem to agree on that I should start with. My plan with these palettes are that I am going to do... Looks like this on the front. Uh, these have some weight to them as well. They, they don't feel flimsy. They're very sturdy. These would be perfect to travel with if that is something that concerns you. My plan with these is not to make one palette with all of them. This is the Paradise Fallen. But to make one video each of these palettes. So I'm thinking of making one video each of these palettes showing two looks. I hope that's okay. Is two looks okay? Because otherwise, three looks with four palettes, that's, that's 12 looks. That's, that's two or three weeks of worth of work for me. That's just not gonna happen. I can't do that. I hope you understand. So I'm thinking two looks with each palette. I'm gonna start with this one because this is the palette that most people were interested in. It has a cool tone neutral row and then an all purple row with a black at the end. It's very pretty. I'm actually thinking of making a gray look. I never do gray. So I thought that could be fun. And then just a all in purple look. It looks very pretty, I have to say. It looks very pretty. So, um, yeah, I hope you're interested in seeing those. I actually, this is the palette that I was most interested in. This is the Blossom Passion. This one is the pink and red palette. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I love the combo of red and pink. This one has a pinky peachy color scheme with two reds. So cool, I love that. This is a bright red matte, this is a burgundy um, matte, this is a dark plummy matte. It is not black, it has some red in it, so it's like a super dark plum. And then it's just pinky, pinky, peachy, and then a like a light transition color if you want to start out with that. It actually has a lot of peachy pink in it as well, so it's not brown. This one is my favorite. Just from looking at them, this is the one that I like the most just from looking at them. So that was Blossom Passion, and then it's Classical Paradise. Uh, I, people are calling this the neutral palette. Uh, I don't know if I agree, um, because, oh, maybe it's the most neutral palette, but it's so warm, and then a, a pop of, of like olive here. Uh, it has a, uh, like it has four yellows. Okay, maybe this is more of a beige yellow, but it has four yellows, one green, and then a peachy shimmer, an orange, a dark brown, a bronzy shimmer, a red, a like a that greeny olivey shimmer, and then another dark red. So, I mean, if we're if we're calling these two, let's call these beige. Just for the sake of the argument, I think they're more yellow. But for the sake of the argument, let's call them beige. It's still only these four then, that, that's not a colorful shade. So, I don't think it's a neutral palette. It's one of those colorful palettes with a, a pop of neutral. I like those, and I like this. This one actually, 
now from looking at them, this is this is my second favorite. I know that a lot of people think that I like colorful looks and I like like super bright rainbow palettes, but actually my favorite palettes are the ones that are colors but toned down. Like jewel colors, dark jewel colors. I love that. But also when I wear a palette, I, I, I'm always drawn to the pop of color, like the lime green or the bright blue. I'm always drawn to that. If you've seen my favorite shade in a palette, you would know that. But when it really comes down to it, like what kind of look would you like to do? Mm, the jewel tones, they get me all the time. So this is my second favorite palette and I'm super excited to dig into that one as well. I think I've shown you everything. Oh, 22 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut this down a bit. And when you're watching this, you're like, this isn't 22 minutes. It's because I'm an editing wizard and I try to take my videos down because I cannot stop talking. <laughs> I cannot stop talking. So yeah, that was a July haul. I actually did buy one more thing in July that isn't here yet. So I'm going to take that in August haul since I have not bought one single thing so far in August. It's like August 10th, 11th? 11th. It's August 11th and I haven't bought one single thing. Almost half of the month is done and I haven't bought anything. I feel pretty good about that. I know I'm gonna buy at least one thing in August, but I'm gonna try to keep it at a minimum because as you can see, I have plenty of stuff to try out, to play with and to review. Let me know down below what things you are the most excited about. I know I got a lot of questions uh, about this palette and you wanted me to use this one. So I am uh, definitely doing something with that. The Afrique palette. The Afrique palette is the one that I am the most interested in trying because I love Juvia's Place palettes. So, <laughs> so I'm actually going to try this one out tomorrow. And I'm also very interested in trying out the Zodiac palette now that I've swatched it because it's swatched actually really nice and I, I was intrigued. So yeah, you have a lot of stuff to look forward to. Let me know in the comments what you are most excited about. Let me know what you bought in July that you love more than anything else like let me know what was your best purchases in july and let me know also did you get some duds because i did get a dud i got this one i don't like it i'm gonna go out and buy lunch and i'm actually gonna take this off before because no bueno so yeah that was everything don't forget to subscribe and you upload at least five videos a week and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>